guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a different ready to what I've done. And that's a what I read in June video. No, not June, July. And basically, I've just been getting into watching a lot of videos to do with books recently. And I just thought it'd be cool to kind of share what I've been reading. Because the books that I read, you don't see many people talk about them. Or at least not the ones that are like well known. And like the people, the booktubers who are more well known, you don't see them talking about this type of book as much. So basically this month I read eight books. I've read pretty much, I've read six of them like after like the 17th of July. So I read a lot of books towards the end of the month. And I read four ebooks and four like actual physical books. And I'm just gonna put like a photo on the screen for the ebooks and then for the physical books I'm just going to show you them. So the first book this month that I read was The Whale Boat House by Mark Mills. I do have that book. I first mentioned it in my trying to read a new book every day for a week video. I started it then but I never picked it up for a while because after that week I just felt so burnt out and yeah it was just too much. But I finished this book around 16th, 17th and yeah, it's, I really like the book. It's about, it, the whole focus is around a girl who's murdered and, or at least found dead anyway. And she's, the, it's sort of unknown whether it was suicide or murdered. Oh right, I have just told you she was murdered. And it focuses, but there was always suspicion of, like, people were, like, pretty sure it was murder. And it was all about, like, who did it, like, why they did it. And it's just a really good book. And I'd, I'd rate this a good five stars. I like how, sort of, fleshed out the characters were. It went back in time a few times uh, to give, like, the backstory and, like, the history and just the extra details and I did really enjoy it and it's like 354 pages so it is a slightly shorter one for anyone who wants to pick this up but yeah I really like The Whale Boat House by Mark Mills and I read it. The second book I read was Scared to Death by Rachel Amphlett which is this book right here. It was an ebook and basically it focused around like a murder and like trying to figure out who the killer is and then and you see the viewpoint from like different views like the main viewpoint is from the detective but then you also see the viewpoint of you saw the viewpoint of the killer then there was like the accomplice and then there was just this third person who you do find out the identity of the end like the a mystery person at the end and then i think right at the end you did see the viewpoint of the second victim i really like this book it was it gripped me and it drew me in and it gave good like it did it gave good detail to it i think it was probably about 250 pages i can't remember however with an ebook you can choose to change the size of the font so i'm not fully aware how many pages it is but i really enjoyed it and i like how much the book was plot driven and i do like that i like books that have like a plot and like a clear ending and I just really enjoyed the book really. Then I read The Crime Beat New York by AC Fuller. This was only like 150 pages and it was good like I did enjoy it. Also the whole scared to death by Rachel Amphlett I will rate five stars. I loved it but The Crime Beat New York like I said it was 150 pages. It didn't go into much detail because it was obviously so short which I didn't like as much it did have a good plot and the viewpoint like it was a good plot and it was from two viewpoints but I do sort of wish there was more detail into it but again I did love the book and like the plot I'm actually gonna rate this three stars instead just because I'm thinking maybe I rated the book too high so yeah only three stars instead of four. Did I say four stars to that? Yeah. Then I read Grain of Truth by BJ Chambers, which is this. Again, 
Crime, the Crime Beat was also a ebook, but Grain of Truth by B J Chambers. Basically, it's focused on the like this crime unit that try and solve like cold cases, and they've just started out, and they have to pick like a good first case to set a good impression, and it just follows the trying to have the like original murderers like proved innocent because there wasn't like the evidence was circumstantial and it was just trying to make a story out of something that wasn't and it just followed that and like the solving of it and like finding out who actually did it rather than just yeah it just focused on who actually did it and finding that out I'd rate that like a four and a half stars I think I don't think I got into it as quick as I did with Scared to Death but I did love the book then I read Absolute Proof by Peter James this was a big ass book also I don't remember how many pages Grain of Truth was but this was 692 pages Actually no, it was 660 in the end because it turned out like the last 30 pages were was like a preview of another one of his books. I actually really, I really, I did really enjoy the book and it focused on sort of like proving the existence of God. It was fiction and it was more like proving in terms of like this person gets a call that says like he has proof of the existence of God and the journalist goes and like finds these clues and along the way people try and kill him and just terrorize him and just try and get him to stop and yeah it was a really good book and but I found it didn't pick up till maybe like page 170 which I wasn't too happy about however when it got to that point it was really good because the pace picked up and I like I like it when these sort of books have like a quicker pace and it make, keeps you on your toes and it makes you want to keep reading but with this for the simple fact of it, it took so long to get into it I'm only rating it four stars however I did really enjoy the book then I read Last to Die by Tess Gerritsen I really enjoyed this book to start with I was wondering where it was going and it did take a while to get to the bit that was on the blurb however the book in itself was good however I did enjoy like the detail that it put in right at the start and I like how it gave like a short description of like the three people who the three children it was sort of like focusing on and every now and again there'd just be like a non-chapter that was from like a viewpoint of someone else and we didn't find out who that someone else was however it is implied who that was right at the end of the book but I really enjoyed I just really enjoy it and I will rate it like a four and a half stars because it was good like throughout but I just didn't like how it took so long to get to the blurb bit but it was still a really good book and it was well written then I read Better Off Dead by H.P. Mallory now this wasn't crime related this was more diving into the slight like fantasy however it was sort of like reality fantasy I wanna like it's not gonna be classed as that but it's sort of like that and so it focuses on a girl who dies in a car crash but she wasn't supposed to die her guardian angel failed her and how she has a chance to go into sort of like it's sort of like limbo I think thinking about it now I think it was called The Shade I could literally just look at the ebook but I think it was called The Shade I think that's what it was referred to as, but yeah, it was basically like limbo. For like a hundred years, I'll become a retriever of souls from the underground, and she decides to become a retriever, and it follows the journey of the retrieving of the soul that's been put into the underground, even though it wasn't supposed to, and it just follows that, and it was a really good book. However, I will rate it only like four stars because just for, even though it was good. Again, I felt as though some of it was, in a sense, fluffed. Like, but it was still good. And I just, 
it was one book that it I probably started over a month ago and I just kept edge, like after I finished Grain of Truth I just kept sort of like nipping away at it like reading a chapter by chapter until the end where it was just like I just want to get this book finished so it wasn't one that captivated me however it was well written which is why I'm rating it four stars then the next book I read was Justice for Mackenzie by Susan Stoker it was a good book however it wasn't focused on crime it turns out that it's labelled as a romance however the description implies that it's a crime book but I didn't look at like the little thing that sort of says what category it fits into I read the type I read the description and thought okay yeah this sounds like a crime one this sounds like crime orientated and it wasn't like it was sort of like there was a small chapter at the end like one or two chapters near the end that focused on the actual like bit that interested me but the rest was to romance and I don't mind reading about romance however I prefer it when the romance is like a subplot rather than it takes over the whole book and a lot of the focus was more on like erotic romance so there was two sort of like sex like scenes that were described and they were well written however it wasn't something that I wanted to it wasn't something that I intended to read like like I said they were well written and I did enjoy how they were written and I knew why it added to the end but I just felt there could have been more on the ending especially seeing as the book was I think only like 235 pages or at least in the size I have it and so for that sense because there was so much of the book focused on that it took away from the bit that I was intent I wanted to read so I do wish like that had been like explored further which is why I'm only rating that book three stars however it was still well written but there was a lot of focus on the romance rather than the crime then the final book I read is The Word is Murder by Anthony Horowitz I really enjoyed this book I somehow finished it in basically two days apart from about 30 pages of it which I read the night on the 29th but I basically finished it in two days. Well, I finished the last few pages at five minutes past midnight this morning, but I'm classing it as I finished it in July. But this was, I this is a really good book. It was focused on like a crime, like a woman was murdered. And it focuses on like figuring out who the killer is. But it's from the viewpoint of like a writer who's been asked to write a book about this detective or this ex-detective that's like a consultant for the police and it focuses on like trying to figure it out all the different details but then it also focuses on like the writer trying to find out a bit out about the detective to make the book interesting but the book in its whole like the way it was written it's sort of like as though it's the writer in the book has written the book if that makes any sense so it's like the actual like finished product of what that writer intended rather than it's an actual story about a murder like I don't know how to explain it you need to actually read the book to understand it but I really enjoy this book and I enjoyed how it was written and like there was I never, I never expected the ending, like I never expected who the killer was to be who the killer was and I'd rate this like, I'd rate this four and a half stars, no five, I rate it five stars but I really enjoyed The Word is Murder by Anthony Horowitz. It was just such a good book and this now takes my book count to 18 for the year and obviously Eight of Clothes was 
in this past month. So book 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so maybe I've actually read nine books. That is literally like a half of my reading count. Jesus. I read half of my yearly reading count in one month. So yeah, I read nine books this month. But as you can see, like the books that I like, I like the crime thrillers. I enjoy like the whole murder, like murder mystery. So if you've read like any murder mystery books or like crime thriller books, let me know in the description box below which ones they are. However, I am downloading the free eBooks, which is why I think I ended up downloading the Justice for Mackenzie by Susan Stoker. The selection of books as a whole was very good. And so now I, let me know in the comment section whether you want me to do like more like what I've read books, that sort of thing, or whether it's just something that you're not really interested in. But let me know and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Let me know in the comment section of any videos you want to see from me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.